story is about human connection. It's about tension. It's about emotion. And that interaction is what draws us in. I'm Link Gasking, and I'm co-founder of ADI. And I love exploring the frontier of storytelling. Humans, for the last 40,000 years, have been outsourcing their memories. And it all started with cave paintings. And those paintings evolved into the painting we know today. And then that painting evolved into photography. And it started to get more and more realistic. And it started to get more and more able to scale. And it also allowed more and more people to be able to do it. The democratization of that memory started to grow. In all of those examples, it's been a two-dimensional recording. Yet, over the last hundred or so years, we've started to move into three dimensions. But the three-dimensional recordings have still been painting. They haven't been photography. And that's been the real transition that we've been making, is to move from a 3D painting, like animation, to 3D photography. Augmented reality is when you take something and place it into your own world. So it's Beyonce dancing in your own living room or bringing a tiger into your kitchen. But that's just the beginning. I'm really excited about this opportunity to explore a new language of storytelling. One that is available to me at all times with just a phone in my pocket. Four years ago, getting a three-dimensional human in your video cost about a million dollars. Now it's something that you can do on your cell phone. When people think of holograms, they think of Princess Leia in Star Wars being beamed from R2-D2. What we've created is essentially volumetric video, which when people see it in their camera, they think immediately to that experience of Princess Leia and they call it a hologram. So what's really cool is seeing all of the different ways that people use these virtual holograms in new stories. There have been particular moments when I've realized that something really special is going on. A mom came in and recorded a message to her four-month-old baby daughter and left a message to her for the future. And about six months went by and we actually took that recording, that hologram, and we had the mom come back in, put on a headset and experience it herself. And this was the moment because now she was able to, in three dimensions, look down and see her daughter again, stare into her eyes, experience her cry, and relive a memory. And for me, that was the moment, realizing that this was no longer a piece of media. This was a memory that we were reliving. And that was really the crossover. Storytelling is every part of our lives, and holograms are now going to be a part of that. And they're going to be part of this new dimension that lies around us as a, as a new layer of reality. And we're going to be able to not only witness that, but also take part in it.